Hey guys, welcome back to Clarity Chart Analysis. And in this video, I will be using market structure to tell us our current position of the little diary on the price market chart and also using market structure to predict the next possible move of the little diary. But first, guys, if you're new to this channel and you want to make money on both direction of the market, you want to know our current position on the price market chart. This channel is for you. Please subscribe, like, and put on the notification to be notified anytime I drop a new video. So guys, the most recent break of structure we saw was a break of structure to the downside on our daily time frame, which is our major structure. And guys, after every break of structure, what should we expect? We should expect a pullback freeze, guys. Are we on a pullback freeze on our daily time frame? Not yet, until we can see price go up of this swing that give us this lower low. If price is not doing that, then guys, we should not be surprised that we'll continue seeing more, more break of structure to the downside. So guys, currently our daily time frame is trading between this upper swing and this lower swing of our daily time frame. And guys, remember that trading with market structure, you can make money on both directions of the market. You just need to know what market structure is doing at that moment. If market structure is bullish, you trade alongside with the bullish trend. And if market structure is bearish, you trade alongside with the bearish trend. So guys, currently now, our daily time frame just book structure to the downside and we're expecting a pullback. We need price to take out this swing for us to be on the pullback phase. So guys, we go back to a 4 hour time frame to go see if our 4 hour time frame has changed bullish. Because for us to be on the pullback phase, we need price to give us the opposite direction of what it give on of to give us an opposite direction of the break of structure on our larger time frame. So guys, coming back to our time frame, we're expecting the bullish trend. Is that what we got? Instead, it was this swing that gave us this lower low, and we expect to see bullish trend to show us that we're on the pullback phase. But guys, we're still on a bearish trend on the pullback on our four-hour time frame. That shows we're still on an impulsive phase on our daily time frame. So we should not expect to see price go up. If we should see price go above this swing, that shows we are back to a bullish trend on our four-hour time frame, and we are now on the pullback phase on our daily time frame. So guys, currently we're still on a bearish trend, and why on our one-hour time frame? It was this swing that gave us this lower low. We saw price traded above it, and instead of more break of structure to the upside, instead of more bullish trend, we saw price taking it out. Now we are now back to a bearish trend. So, guys, let's trade carefully. Let's not lose our added money trading the wrong direction of the market. Remember that clarity chart analysis is here to give updates on market structure. But, guys, for you not to miss out, please subscribe, like. Put on the notification to be notified anytime I drop a new video. Remember that now on our three time frames, all time frames are bearish, and none of our time frame is on the pullback phase. All time frames, both daily, four hour, and one hour time frame, all of them are on the bearish trend, and all of them are on impulsive phase. So, guys, let's trade carefully and let's not lose our ad and money to the market trade in the wrong direction. Clarity charts analysis actually gives updates on market structure. Thank you guys for watching this video.